Hi everyone, welcome back to Get A Brood. So today we have a totally different video to what we normally have. Very privileged and honoured to be invited to uh, a monastery, uh, a Trappist brewery, to show you a little bit behind the scenes of what goes on here. Now we have to be very respectful to the brothers and to the, the spirit of the work and prayer lifestyle that they devote themselves to here. So it's not going to be the usual video where we run in with all the camera equipment, all the mics. It'll be very subtle, very um, personable and in a way in which shows them respect. So really, really grateful to Dingham and Small for organising this for us and very privileged to be here today. So come on in and check it out. If you've no idea what a Trappist brewery is, it, it has to be based in a monastery and it is run by the brothers or the monks that are here. Now there is 12 um, brothers that live on the abbey premises here and devote themselves to work and prayer. So they spend a lot of time in prayer, a lot of time focusing on their um, studies, but they also have to work. So whenever they brew, they start brewing at four in the morning and finish up around 2 p.m. They're not about mass scale production, albeit that they a 40 hectolitre brew house. What they're wanting to do is make premium quality beer using the best quality ingredients, making it true to the Trappist style renowned worldwide for being that sort of higher ABV, super premium, malt and yeast focused beer. Zunder has uh, two styles of beer that they brew and they tend to brew two batches over two days. Um, they have capacity to do much, much more, but that's not what the process is about. I keep emphasizing this, it's charitable. It's about work and prayer. You can see that it's, it's a working farm. There's orchards, there's animals. There's, you know, there's lovely running water. You can hear the birds singing. It is a beautifully peaceful place to be. Just up ahead of us here is the brewery, and we're gonna pop in and give you a very, very brief look at what's inside. When you walk into the brewery here in Zunder, there's six large fermentation vessels on the left hand side and a beautiful brewery floor, the basis for everything really. And as we walk through the brewery here on the right hand side, we see the malt room. Quite an unusual setup in that the, the silos are a fabric bag as opposed to stainless steel, but that brings great health and safety um, because there's no dust risk there. And then malt is transferred into the grist box milled from above and then obviously pumped straight into the mash tun. So there's a great vibe in the brewery here, exceptionally clean, um, super premium quality equipment, very, very carefully thought out the layout and the equipment. Um, you can see the brew house has been uh, custom designed. It's very easy when you look at it to see what every piece of equipment does. It's a large brew house. It's a 40 hectolitre capacity. Um, they do have a mash tun that can also be a kettle, but they also have a separate kettle as well. And then the loiter tun has got a, an unusual base in it that allows them to loiter high ABV beers with 100% malt in a very quick and fast process. And um, I have to say, really impressed with the thought that went into the layout of this brewery. And again, you can see that there's um, a lot of ease there for the brothers and the monks whenever they're brewing. So it's important that um, they obviously work and pray as part of their life. But being able to work with high quality equipment to make really good quality beer has been in the forefront of the thoughts in the consultant who designed this brewery. Look, what a privilege to be um, given a tour by Constance. Um, he is a brewing consultant and he's probably one of the most important consultants in the brewing industry in the whole country here. He provides consultation advice for all the Trappist breweries, ensuring that they continue to make that um, worldwide uh, premium quality Trappist beer. So look, what we would love you to do as a result of this video is continue to buy Trappist beer. It's for charitable causes. So go and find some Trappist beer, make sure you purchase it. We have a Trappist brewery in the UK now, and we're gonna pop the link to Zundert beer down below so that you can read a little bit more about it. A great privilege for me, a great honor. We're very grateful to Constance, to the, the brothers and the Abbey, and grateful to Dingamans for facilitating this visit. And um, thanks so much for watching today, and until next time, happy brewing.